ACA Beijing has been after Yang for more than a decade, and though officials in the U.S. would neither confirm nor deny that the person they've detained is indeed the same person, China is confident that one of its most wanted fugitives is now in American custody. U.S. officials tell CCTV News that Yang Xiaoju is now behind bars at this immigration detention facility in the state of New Jersey. An online government database shows a person with the same name, place and year of birth as the former Wenzhou government official now in custody. Yang has been called the queen of corruption. She was number one on a government list of 100 Chinese economic fugitives who have fled overseas. Yang reportedly entered the U.S. using a fake Dutch passport last year. It's unclear how U.S. authorities managed to detain her. American law enforcement officials reportedly received information about Yang's identity from their Chinese counterparts via a U.S.-China forum for hunting down fugitives. Beijing had previously filed an arrest warrant for Yang through Interpol, a global policing organization comprised of 190 member countries. The U.S. has extradition treaties with half. China is not one of them. Beijing has been pushing for talks with Washington to change that. But opponents say China would not guarantee defendants like Yang a fair trial. Regardless, Yang could still end up back home. If it's deemed she illegally entered the U.S., authorities are likely to kick her out. A statement by the U.S. immigration agency said Yang was pending removal to China for violating the terms of the visa waiver program and added that, quote, as a foreign law enforcement fugitive, Yang is a priority. ASEA Chinese prosecutors say Yang embezzled more than $40 million. She was apprehended in the Netherlands back in 2005, but managed to get away last year after being, being refused asylum and under the threat of extradition. She hadn't been seen since. So, Roy, this is not an extradition process, but a deportation process. Explain to us here the difference. Well, the grounds for deportation are much simpler. A person is deemed to be in the country illegally, either having entered illegally or under false testimony. If that is the case, the individual can be deported, most often back to their country of origin and not to the country from where they entered the U.S. The caveat here, and I imagine uh, Yang's attorney is aware of this, is that she will likely request asylum in the U.S. based on a perceived fear of persecution back in China. If her attorney can successfully convince the U.S. Department of Justice that Yang would be, for example, executed in China, uh, the U.S. may choose not to deport her after all. And if that happens, she likely won't face criminal charges in the U.S. because she hasn't theoretically committed any crimes in this country. The corruption that China accuses her of, they said, happened in China. That's not a U.S. crime in the eyes of the U.S. legal system. If, of course, there were an extradition agreement in place, the U.S. would have to consider the criminal charges in, in China and not just the alleged immigration violations. And one more thing to add, I just got off the phone with uh, Yang's attorney, Vlad Kuzmin. Uh, he uh, was able to uh, uh, confirm that he is representing her, but he would not confirm whether or not Yang has spoken or met with Chinese uh, consular officials in detention there uh, in New Jersey. I was able to get confirmation from the Department of Justice that Yang's next hearing, a uh, deportation hearing, uh, will be on uh, June 8th, so a little more than a week away. Justice officials saying she will have access, of course, to a Mandarin interpreter. All right, and I know you'll be following it for us. CCTV's Roy Ruttenberg, thank you.